Agriculture Minister Honorable Alfred Prosper says St. Lucia has the potential to develop and strengthen competitive value chains for high-value products such as seafood, herbs and spices, and highly perishable vegetables and fruits. And although these actions in support of value-added commodities and the diversification of agricultural export revenues are not new, the renewed zest for value chain development comes in light of the sharp focus being placed on nutrition and food security at this time. We had um, the Banana Festival and we saw all um, the work that our people, our local people are doing in terms of value-added from a number of um, our um, commodities there. We saw the same when we had the Mango Festival, we are having a, hoping to have a Simos Festival, and we know Simos is becoming a big industry in St. Lucia, especially in the rural areas and how it impacts the rural people. And value added is, a, is an area of concern to me in that field, and I'm just hoping that um, we can give the support to those persons who are interested in agro-processing. But I, I, I would like to see, my vision is to see as many persons as possible get in there, but we need to move outside of St. Lucia, find new markets regionally, internationally for our products. Agriculture leaders are adamant, insisting that growth within the agro-processing industry has the potential to stimulate and spur demand for raw material or produce from the agriculture industry and thereby create novel output on niche markets that increase the income of farmers and productivity within the sector. Whatever markets that are available for our farmers, whether it's cocoa, whether it's fish, whether it's bananas, whether it's root crops, whether it's anything, I am happy with that. But what we have not been able to do very well is to take advantage of the market. So for example, we have a, co a market readily available to us in the UK for our cocoa, but we have not been able to meet the demand. We have not been able to meet the demand. So there are opportunities for our farmers to make money, but we do not have the available quantities to be able to meet the market needs. Agro-processing is important for a number of reasons, chief of which is the reduction in post-harvest losses. Processed foods also have greater price stability on the world market, increase market opportunities for exports, promote employment generation and enterprise development, all while ensuring the diversification of rural economies. From the Ministry of Agriculture, this is Amanda Fee Clark reporting.